And today is a super exciting day because we're going to be crossing the border from Costa Rica to Nicaragua. He said, like, go to the side. Don't understand. Migration, Nicaragua. Oh. oh. Oli is inside at the aduana office since one hour. Yep, that's uh, it. Yeah. We are in. We've picked out an accommodation uh, in a town called Masaya, which is actually a little bit closer than the capital, Managua. Yes, we found this place on Airbnb and we are just in contact with this guy and he's like, okay, just make your way to my hostel and he will give us a room and apparently they have a pool as well. Oh my God, I cannot yes. wait. And I was asking if the pool is working and he said, yes, it is working. Oh, amazing. That's actually a valid question because the amount of times they've suggested that there's a pool and then it's like empty, it's being cleaned or it doesn't exist or, you know, it's just so many times. It's always good to double check. <laughs> but this place and the town of Masaya is only just under two hours away. So we should arrive there well before sunset, which is nice. So we're heading to this town, Masaya, because next to this town is a volcano called Volcano. Messiah which is like a totally crazy active volcano that you can go up to the crater of and see like the lava down below it sounds absolutely incredible and if we get there in time we want to see if we can go there tonight best time to go there is like in the late evening just as the Sun is setting so that you can see it kind of go there and then it gets dark and then you can see all of the lava and the red and everything like this so actually it should work out pretty good we should be able to go for a dip in the pool and then go see some lava look at that view first views in Nicaragua wow look at this lake but not only the lake but look behind the lake or in the lake it's like two crazy giant volcanoes wow that's a crazy view it's so incredibly beautiful i would like to go for a swim as well <laughs> i can see people swimming here yeah wow what a place incredible so this lake is lake nicaragua and these two volcanoes are called volcano maderas and volcano concepcion and look at Concepcion, it's like a perfect cone volcano. Incredible. That's like, welcome to Nicaragua, hey? I'm blown away. Ridden in for about 10 minutes and we're at this crazy place. How beautiful. that's like the first like ox cart that I've seen like ever wow yes! <laughs> we've seen loads of fruit sellers on the side of the road I'm gonna see if they've got a couple of mangoes for us are those mangoes yeah it's something like that I think hola tiene uh, mango or this mango ah Ah, pequeño mango. US dollar is okay? Huh? Do dollar? Para dollar, no. Dollar, no. Okay, gracias. Okay, no, we have to exchange. Yeah, so these are all mangoes. These are all little mangoes. Wow. And this is a mango tree right here. And this one. <laughs> it's like they're selling them and they're just like dropping more <laughs> on top of them and they're like <laughs> just like oh yeah I'll put that on that's funny anyway unfortunately we need to do a money exchange for some local currency what is the local currency of Nicaragua uh, I don't know what the um, currency is well anyway whatever it is we've got to get ourselves some of that yeah got a police control here yeah <laughs> Friend, friendly. You never know when you're 
coming into a new country if you're going to be stopped at every police control or if they're just going to ignore you or whatever yeah in some countries we were like stopped at every single checkpoint like Mauritania oh my god we were stopped like 15 times yeah but here they're just like hello <laughs> hello and ciao wow it's so incredibly hot it's like 35 degrees at the moment yeah we're about halfway to Masaya but uh we had to take a break and drink some water because whew. yeah we get really thirsty because i think as well these uh, t-shirts they dry us out even more because we sweat and the sweat immediately disappears so we're completely dried out <laughs> but otherwise so far it's a pretty cool ride actually it seems a really nice country so i'm really happy to be here Look, we can already see Volcano Messiah in front. Look at that. So we're heading sort of round here for another 30 miles. But wow, it's already here. Look at that. Nicaragua has a lot of volcanoes. Wow. And they're growing a lot of sugarcane here. This is all sugarcane and we've seen quite a lot of sugarcane trains. Like loads of trucks with sugarcane. So if we're lucky, we'll find some sugarcane juice. Having some peanuts. Yeah. I'm hungry. Hungry, thirsty, hot. So it's now 20 past four and we're just coming into the town Masaya where we're going to be staying for the next two nights. We'll either see the volcano tonight or tomorrow night, but either way, we can lie in bed tomorrow <laughs> and don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> so the accommodation says it's somewhere down here. It's supposed to be somewhere here. Okay, can you give me the phone? Yeah. Hola. Hola supposed to be either here or on the other side there should be a church here ah uh, yeah the church is just up ahead okay so then it says from the church a block and a half south let's have a little walk ride around and see okay oh, look, they're making tortilla oh that's cool <laughs> ah. <laughs> nice oh bueno <laughs> wow we have to get ourselves some tortillas, some burritos. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, I mean, here's a church, but it's probably not the right one. It says I have to go just through here. Oh my God. <laughs> where, where are we? I have no idea. I don't think Maps Me is very uh, good. <laughs> okay, so the only instruction we have is go to the church in San Geronimo, which is this neighborhood, and we are a block and a half south from there. This is literally the instructions we have. But it's like, which church and where? There's a big church coming up ahead. Yeah, I think it's probably the biggest church, huh? Because we just went to one church, but it was like the tiniest little church ever. Yeah, but then a block and a half south. No, it doesn't make any sense. There's no blocks here. And anyway, I'm not even sure we're in San Geronimo anymore. I'm not sure where it starts or where it ends, to be honest. Okay, otherwise, just try to get a phone card or something. Yeah, I'm gonna go up to the church, which should be just up ahead. According to the map, there's a church here. <gasps> Can you see any church? No. No, there's no church here either, I'm afraid. Okay. Fun to run more. Okay. 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 
So I just went inside a pharmacy and got some internet there or Wi-Fi for a moment and I was just letting the guy know that we are still on our way and that we actually can't find it. But I also googled the church now and I think I found the church now on Google so we rooted ourselves to this church now and then we try again <laughs> from there. Okay, now we're talking. This is definitely a church. Look at that. Yeah, big church. That's a nice big church. I can see the compass as well. So they said a block and a half south. So basically, if, what, this is like a block? Does this part count as a block? <laughs> Good question. Um, go around here. Uh-huh. I reckon in here. You think in here? In here, yeah, yeah. And then, a block and then another half block okay i reckon somewhere here what's this one casa porta ah there we go bravo oh my lord look oh at my this lordy lord freaking thing <laughs> yeah, okay think maybe you jump off okay i jump off that's quite a big step right ready go whoa Hola! Oh, the gates! <laughs> oh wow, look at this place! Okay, gracias! Cool! But no, no bueno. Uh, you speak English? Uh, you speak English also. Uh, uh, my, 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 my name is Margie, I call me Mar... My, my mom is named Marjani. Oh, it's a good thing. Miguel. Mucho gusto. Enseñame el cuarto. Perfecto. Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy end. Uh. Dead. <laughs> In this really, really nice room with a ceiling fan, but better than that, air conditioning. Oh, yes. We've got it. We're living the dream now. And we've got a little walk in wardrobe. Is this the Hilton? <laughs> I love this room so much. It has a really old feel, you know, like the, the floor looks really vintage and then the furniture they've chosen are as well really unique pieces. You feel like you're in the 1800s here. Yeah, it's got an antique vibe and that's because we're in the old town here as well. But let's have a look outside. This is the star of the show. This is why we've got two nights here because We have a swimming pool, that's beautiful. I have pretty bad headaches, so I will just chill out and cool down a little bit. So we will probably visit the volcano tomorrow. Yeah, I think for tonight we'll just go for a swim, have a little walk around the old town, maybe grab a bite to eat. Yeah, we saw already a lot of restaurants written on tacos. I'm definitely up for a taco tonight, <laughs> that sounds awesome. Really awesome. Woo! Woo! Next day. Okie dokie. See you later. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Ready. All right. Let's go and see some volcanoes, eh? Let me just get down this little curb. So it is the day after now, or the afternoon after actually. And we are on our way to go and see Volcano Messiah. We had a really nice relaxing day already and enough energy to visit this natural wonder. So they say it's better to visit it in the evening that you can actually see the lava when it gets dark. It's like 4.30 right now. So we're gonna ride over there, get there just around five. Sunset is I think like 5.45, so if we then get up to the crater of the volcano we should be there at around sunset and we can get there as it gets dark and 
watch the magic happen. Yes. But this town, Messiah, is an absolutely beautiful town. We had a walk around the square last night and it's just like picturesque, historical. Look at all the different painted houses. It's just a really, really lovely town, actually. Yeah, again, you just feel like frozen in time here. It looks really traditional, like the houses look really traditional. And then often you can see horses and people with carts and horses. And you're like, OK, that's cool. Absolutely lovely. It's a super cool place. Yeah, and it's really interesting, actually, because um, when the rendering is gone, like there was one house where you could actually see what is behind the uh, rendering. It was pretty much just mud bricks. So just imagine like every house here is like built with mud bricks and then they put like a rendering uh, in front of it. But yeah, it's really cool. So they're just telling Lavi there that actually we can ride right up to the crater. The parking lot is basically next to the crater. So we can ride all the way up, park the bike, walk like two seconds and we're at the crater. Perfecto mundo. Oh yes. Awesome! Let's show Bumblebee the volcano, hey? Oh yeah, let's do it. Ta-da! <laughs> cool! <laughs> How exciting! Oh, I love it. I love it when there's such an accessible volcano. Me too! Although I do like hiking volcanoes, don't get me wrong. We once did a two-day hike to get up a volcano in Indonesia. It was great. <laughs> yes, it was. But it's also nice when you can just ride up to the crater. On this trip, of course, I prefer riding up to it. <laughs> <laughs> I do love hiking as well. I'm just so happy that we can actually ride up there because yeah, people said, oh no, you have to take a truck or oh no, you have to walk five kilometers or whatever. But yeah, because we just paid like um, $10 per person and yeah, now we are free to visit the volcano. Wow, how cool, hey? That how is cool. Cool. Oh my God. Yeah, this is like a really active volcano. Yeah. Whoa, I think the edge of the crater is literally just here. Incredible. So cool. Amazing, amazing. I think this is it. This is the car park oh, and that's the crater. Wow. Right in front. Nice. It's like literally the edge. Yes, wow. Parking bubble be like 10 meters from the crater edge. Incredible. Let's just see if the fella tells us we can't park here. Yes, I don't know. Maybe he tells us. Bienvenidos a Nicaragua! Okay, we're on our way to have a look inside the crater. Oh my god! You can see already the smoke coming out. You're just like, oh my god, how does it look? Yeah, look at this. Smoky! Wow, the sunset as well at the moment looks really, really beautiful. Oh my God, now you can see it like really good actually because the smoke disappeared for a minute. Wow, look at that. It's actually like the bubbling lava lake down below. Oh my God. Wow, cool. It's incredible. There's actually parrots nesting in the walls of the crater. We can see them, they've got little burrows in the edges of the crater. It's absolutely crazy that parrots make their home here in the volcano. So we're just taking this little trail to get up to this vantage point where we might get, I don't know, a different view of the crater. Amazing view, hey? It looks like a painting. It looks unreal at the moment. So we've reached the top and actually you can't even see the crater from here, look. What a waste of our energy, hey? <laughs> we actually have to go back down because the best view is actually down there next to the car park. So that's it, the sun is going 
behind the mountain on the other side of the crater. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Let the lava party begin. getting pretty dark now and we're starting to see this like big red glow from inside the crater like all the steam is just like glowing red it's absolutely amazing because you've also got the red from like the sunset such deep beautiful colors and that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the video if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comment below and we will see you next time Oh my lord. Yeah, there was a sign, my love.